On July 10th, we jumped on a plane from Orlando to Dallas. Once we arrived from the airport, we drove to Allen's for lunch and met up with our friends Ryan and Michael. After lunch, we went to the sixth floor museum where we learned about the presidency of John F. Kennedy and where he was assassinated. We got to see like the window where the perch for his sniper was at when he shot. John F. Kennedy. There were all sorts of models showing how it all happened. And at the museum, there was a replica of the gun that Lee Harvey Oswald used to kill John F. Kennedy. Thursday morning, we raced over to Tony Robbins' Unleash the Power Within. There was like a dance party at the beginning that had the countdown for Tony Robbins. Yeah, there was a big dance party every 45 minutes or so. We were also yelling a lot. I liked it when I saw you yelling. <laughs> getting into it. And then on Friday we went to K1 Speed. This is an indoor electric go-karting place. I'm pretty sure that the track was bigger. It was super fun. After a few races we went to the Alamo Draft House to see Spider-Man. Came back to the hotel and Ender and Michael went in the pool together and we went nearby for some tacos at Happy Taco. We played um, cornhole. Saturday we went to the Perot Nature and Science Center. There was a bird exhibit where I flew like a bird. Flew, flew, flew my bird wings. <laughs> Those are your bird wings? <laughs> I like how you're using your hands. <laughs> we also danced like silly dinosaurs. Remember that? Yes. Remember that? We went and saw a gemstone exhibit. There were all kinds of stones. We saw a giant geo. There was like this wheel where it pulled a crank that turned it and looked like you were opening it, but you really weren't. Which was sad, because I wanted to open it for real. Oh, so sad. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't cry, Andrew, don't cry. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. don't, don't cry, baby, Andrew. <laughs> They had this great Lego art exhibit where an artist reproduced famous pieces of art in Lego. Dude. There was one giant tiki thing, like a headstone, but it had 75,000 pieces of Lego in it. There was also some original pieces of Lego art. There was a racetrack where I raced Michael, and it showed you the time and speed that you were going. We're both pretty fast. We then went to Milk and Cream, where you can get two scoops of ice cream inside of a donut. Yeah. After ice cream, what better thing to do than go to a trampoline park? Me and Michael did a front flip and back flip at the same time. That was cool. Then had some dinner and went to bed. And on Sunday, we woke up and went back to K1 Speed. To get even more racing. Yeah, even more racing. And after K1 Speed, yeah. we went to lunch at Guitars and Growlers. After lunch, we said goodbye to Ryan and Michael. We had so much fun, we went to Rainbow Vomit. Yeah. No, literally. We, we, we vomited rainbows. <laughs> yeah, right. This is an immersive art experience. It started in a black and white room where they had a black and white bar with black and white drinks before getting immersed in rainbow art or rainbow vomit. There was even a secret room we managed to find. We got pictures of us riding the rainbow unicorn. And me dancing in a unicorn head. You were dancing as the rainbow unicorn. Yeah. And then now we're here. Yeah, we gotta pack up because tomorrow we're off to Wyoming. Yeah. Jackson, Wyoming. Yeah. Monday morning, we jumped on a flight to Jackson, Wyoming. We saw the Grand Tetons while we were flying there. We drove to Jackson, left our luggage at the hotel, and walked through the town, which is really cute, to get to the Snow King Resort. First we took the chairlift to the top, which gave us a beautiful view of Jackson Hole. We then went down the alpine slide to the bottom of the mountain. Then we took the cowboy coaster, which was super fast and super fun. Then we went shopping and picked up a few stuffed animals. A moose that is really furry. Then we went to the Lexington Hotel where we were staying, and it was definitely the nicest hotel room of our trip. I twerked in front of it. I was proud. Proud of your twerk. At 6 p.m. we walked over and watched the shootout at Town Square. And at the shootout there were a bunch of cowboys and there was a few cowgirls. On Tuesday we met our leaders for the Backroads trip. 
We jumped in their van and they drove us through Idaho past beautiful green fields, which really reminded me of Italy. And then we drove into West Yellowstone, where we had a briefing for our first hike starting at Biscuit Basin. And there was a lot of geothermal hot springs there, which some... is hot temperatured pools, basically. So we saw some geysers here as well. Yeah. We went on a hike that led to Mystic Falls. And on the way to Mystic Falls, we saw two really cute chipmunks. Yeah, they were waiting for us to throw them food, I think. We walked down Upper Geyser Basin, which had lots of geysers and hot springs. All of Yellowstone is all sitting on like a super volcano, and right now we're on the caldera. We didn't get to see Old Faithful erupt, but we got to see another geyser erupt. We then went to Grant Village, where they set up our camp. We found our tent with two cots with sleeping bags on them. They cooked us dinner. We both did the whipped cream challenge, where you try to get whipped cream off of your nose and into your mouth. Then we had campfire, told some bad jokes, and then went to bed. Wednesday, which is today, we woke up to find two elk wandering by our camp. We then jumped in the van to head to our next hike. Along the way, saw a few buffalo and lots bison. more. On the way, saw a few bison and lots of beautiful scenery here in Yellowstone. You got it right. You said bison. Congratulations, you just said the word bison. <laughs> Not buffalo. They're two different animals. They're two different animals? Yeah. Boy, they are. Once we got off the bus. The hike started with a walk by Crystal Lake. It smelled like rotten eggs. We also saw some bubbling mud pots. <laughs> I like your sound effect. Can you make the sound effect? We took a hike to the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Which had a river running through it, which basically formed the canyon about 10,000 years ago carving its way through the valley. We walked along the canyon edge and eventually saw the lower falls. We snapped some great photos as we got closer and closer to the falls. Eventually the kids split up and the adults climbed down to the top of the falls, which was pretty awe-inspiring to be right next to so much water pouring into the valley. We did like a mini ranger thing and got some ice cream, which was delicious. I hope you enjoyed it. Because so, we enjoyed our ice cream. <laughs> you hope I enjoyed it? We enjoyed it. Are you sure you enjoyed it? Yes. <laughs> Why do you have so much attitude about your ice cream? Because <laughs> we went to the campfire, roasted some marshmallows, and played boppity bop bop bop. Thursday was our first bicycle day. After driving out of Yellowstone, we jumped on our bikes at Flag Ranch and biked to Grand Teton National Park where we found ourselves biking along Jackson Lake and looking at the beautiful Teton mountain range. We had a quick pit stop for a picnic right along the water. We jumped on our bikes to head to our campground at Coulter Bay for yeah. two more nights of camping. And Ender biked 14 miles. My dad was surprised. Were you surprised? Eh, you could do it. Yeah, and you I, could, I could have done it. Totally, any day. We played a Camp Olympics game. We then had dinner, and Ender and I walked over to look at the sunset on Jackson Lake. Yeah, it was pretty. I got some cool photos. On Friday. Today. The kids went mountain climbing while the adults hiked the Cascade Canyon at Jenny Lake. We took a boat ride across the lake before hiking up to Inspiration Point, which had a beautiful view of the lake. Then I hiked Cascade Canyon, which ran alongside a river formed by the glaciers off of Mount Owen and Grand Teton. Every few miles, you'd see these amazing waterfalls in the distance coming off of the mountains. I hiked 9.7 miles, and I heard you were dancing the whole time. The mountain climbing was fun. We then met up back at camp, had dinner, the leaders dressed up as animals, and tickled Ender. And we had a talent show sitting around the campfire to end it with everyone doing floss. And today we packed our stuff and headed out for one last bike ride past the Grand Tetons. There's a beautiful view as we head out of the Grand Teton National Park. During the ride, I biked 24.2 miles. Finally, we had one last lunch with our backroads family before heading here to the airport where we're finally flying back to our Yes. All right. Bye. 
Harvey Oswald was arrested, he was purposefully shot by Jack Ruby in the chest. The <laughs> hairy chest. How do you know he had a hairy chest? Because he's a man. A man? A man. <laughs> he's a man. Mm. 